Today we're going to look at a problem that I find really interesting. It comes from the Pan-African Mathematics Olympiad, the 2015 edition, and it is question 3. And so the statement of the problem goes like this. So we want to let a1, a2, all the way up to a10, a11 be integers. So we've got 11 integers. And then we want to prove that there exists b1, b2, all the way up to b10, b11 in the set negative 1, 0, 1, but they're not all 0, such that a1, b1 plus a2, b2, all the way up to a11 times b11 is divisible by 2015. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys some hints. Maybe you can try this problem a little bit and then we'll look at a solution. So the first hint is to consider this set A, which is made up of these integers A1 through A11. So it'll be important to um, consider that object. Next, we know that we can find a power of 2 which is bigger than 2015. And think about what power of 2 that is. And then finally, we're going to use the language of modular congruence. And in particular, we want to recall that A is said to be congruent to B mod N if and only if B minus A is divisible by N, or B and A have the same remainder when divided by N. And there are N such remainders when dividing by N. There's 0, 1, 2, all the way up to N minus 1. Okay, so uh, give it a go with these hints and then we'll come back and look at a solution. Now we're ready for our solution and I want to point out that we are only going to consider the case when all of the AI are distinct. So obviously when writing up a very careful solution you would also need to consider the case when the AI are not distinct. Maybe you guys post that solution in the comments, it's super quick. All right, great. So we're only going to consider that case. And then the next thing that we want to do is set A equal to this set A1, A2, all the way up to A10 and A11. And now what we want to notice is that because we have only considered the case when the AI are distinct, we know exactly how many elements are in A, and that is 11 elements. Next, we'll introduce a little bit more notation. So for a subset S of A, we want to denote the sum S. So we'll just put sigma S like this. So that's going to be the sum over all X in S of X. So in other words, it's the element sum of the subset of S. So maybe let's do a little bit of an example first, just to know that we know what this is. So let's say that S equals A1 a2, A5, and A9. So that is a four element subset. Then, in this case, the sum of S, in other words, the element sum of S will be equal to A1 plus A2 plus A5 plus A9. So pretty simple. And then using this notation, we can actually rewrite this condition star in another form, and that's like this. So observation, star is, is equivalent to uh, the existence of subsets S and T from A, and we should point out here that S is not equal to T, such that the sum of the elements of the subset in S is congruent to the sum of the elements in the subset of T modulo 2015. Okay, good. So now let's go ahead and see a proof of this observation because this is actually how we're going to approach this problem is by proving that this observation is satisfied. Great. And now we actually don't need to prove that this is equivalent to this existence of these two subsets. We only need to prove that the existence of these two subsets um, implies condition star in our case. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's suppose that S and T are subsets of A with S not equal to T and the sum of the elements in S is congruent to the sum of the elements in T mod 2015. Okay, good. Then 
we have the following. Then we have the sum of the elements in S um, minus the sum of the elements in T is divisible by 2015 because that's the definition of congruence mod 2015. But now notice that gives us the following setup. So I'm just going to maybe do this as a picture. So this is 1 times the sum of elements in S not in T. So it's important that we see that it's not in T there. And then plus negative 1 times the sum of elements in T not in S. Great. And then finally, plus 0 times the sum of elements um, in the intersection, S intersect T, and in neither. And so this kind of picture that we have is exactly kind of a description of this sum of the elements in S minus the sum of the elements in T. We've just added zero times all of the rest of the elements. And then we see that this is divisible by 2015. So now you can think about these as the BIs that are attached to the positive one weight here. We can see that this, uh, these are the BIs attached to the negative one weight here. And we can say these zeros are the BIs attached to this zero weight here. And furthermore, we know not all of the BIs are zero because S and T are not the same subset, which means there definitely exist elements of S that are not in T and or elements in T that are not in S. Notice this does not preclude S being a subset of T or T being a subset of S. But either way you do it, at least one of these is non-empty. Okay, so now I'm going to clean up this little bottom of the board, and then we're going to look at a quick example of this setup, even though this observation is proved, just to get a feel for exactly what's happening here. So we just got done proving the reverse direction of this observation, which is all we need in order to solve this problem. Now what we want to do is give an example of this, just so we have a little more intuition for what's going on. So let's notice that here, maybe we have S is equal to A1, A3, A5, and A7. And let's say maybe T is equal to A3, a7, A9, and A10. Great. And let's say these are the two subsets that have the condition that the sum of the elements in S is congruent to the sum of the elements in T modulo 2015. Okay, so now that means we're going to have a positive one attached to the elements from S that are not in T. So let's see, we're going to have 1 times A1 plus, let's see, we can't have A3 because it's in both, and then 1 times A5, and then that's it. We can't have A7 because it is in both. Okay, and then plus the elements in T um, that are not in S, that those are going to be attached to a minus 1. So we'll have minus 1 times A9 plus minus 1 times A10. Okay, good. And then we'll have plus 0 times the elements that are in both. So that's going to be A3 and A7. So we have A3 plus 0 times A7. And then we're going to have plus 0 times all of the rest of them. Okay, so let's just reiterate what's going on here. So these are the guys that are in S, not in T. So let's go ahead and write it like that. In S, not in T. These are the guys right here that are in T, not in S. Fantastic. And then these are in S intersect T, so they're in both. And then finally, these are in neither. 
Okay, so that's our setup. So now I think we're all happy with this observation. So I'm gonna keep what's on the board that we need for uh, the last steps of this solution, and then we'll move on. On the previous board, we built all of the tools necessary to finish off our solution. So just recall that we're setting A equal to the set A1 through A11. We're only considering the case where the A, I are distinct, which makes the number of elements in A equal to 11. Furthermore, we proved this following observation that says if there exists S and T, which are subsets of A, where S is not equal to T, such that the sum of the elements from S is congruent to the sum of the elements from T modulo 2015, then star is satisfied. In other words, we can find these BIs that make this happen. This sum of A1, B1 up to A11, B11 is divisible by 2015. So what that means is we only need to prove the hypothesis of this observation, and then because this observation is true, we're done. And we're going to do that by considering something called the power set of A. In other words, the set of all subsets of A. And I just want to recall that if A has 11 elements, then the size of the power set is equal to 2 to the 11, which is 2048. So in general, if you have a finite set with n elements, the number of subsets of that set, in other words, the size of the power set is equal to 2 to the n. So that's kind of a fact that you should keep in mind for all of these types of problems. So now the next thing that we want to do is enumerate these sets. So we'll take the power set of A and set it equal to S1, S2, all the way up to S2048. Now, one of those is an empty set, but that's going to be okay. Now, what we want to do is consider the set of sums of elements of these subsets, and we'll call that x. So we'll set x equal to the set of these sums. So here we have the sum s1, the sum of the elements in s2, all the way up to the sum of the elements in s2048. Then finally, we want to consider the residues of these sums modulo 2015. So in other words, we're going to divide all of these elements by 2015 and only keep the remainder. And we'll call that set x bar. And so notice here we're going to write the sum s1 mod 2015 the sum of the elements in S2 mod 2015 all the way up to the sum of the elements in S2048 mod 2015. Great. Now let's just backtrack and look at how many elements are in each of these sets. So now, so this set has 2048 elements. This set has, at most, 2,048 elements. It might have less because it's possible that two subsets could have the same sum. And then this set right here, because we're looking at the residues modulo 2015, this has, at most, 2,015 elements. Great. But because 2048 is bigger than 2015, we can apply something called the pigeonhole principle. So by the pigeonhole principle, there exists two subsets, so maybe we'll write it like i not equal to j, such that the sum of the elements in Si is congruent to the sum of the elements in Sj mod 2015. Okay, good, but by our observation, we are done. So that's good. So let's just reiterate what happened. So we have a list of 2,048 sets, 
But then there are only 2015 residues modulo 2015. So what that means is that the sum of the elements from two of those sets must have the same residue when we reduce modulo 2015. In other words, we have sum SI is congruent to sum SJ mod 2015 for sum I not equal to J. But then by the observation that we proved earlier, that tells us that this condition is satisfied. And that's a good place to stop.